Hello, my little grains of sand, and today I'm trying out a new series. I know I'm coming out with lots of them, but as this is very much a work in progress channel, I'm just trying stuff out and seeing what sticks. So I wanted to do more than just tell stories or do reviews, I wanted to do something a little more original-ish. And I thought showing my character design skills would be a great step. So I created the Persona Showcase Speed Drawing. Yeah, I know, very generic title, but I think it gets the point across. For my first Sona, I decided to do a Hogwarts House Sona. When I first started planning this series out in March, where we had Hogwarts Pride Week, so I was kinda in a Hufflepuff mood. Sue me. Okay, time for the little backstory that goes with the Sona. In 2009, a young mixblood witch receives her acceptance letter to Hogwarts like her older sister and parents before her. She wonders what house she would be put into, a Ravenclaw like her pure-blood father and older sister, or Hufflepuff like her half-blood mother. Either way, she didn't really care. She was just looking forward to the experience she's going to have as her older sister told her many stories from her time at the famous Hogwarts. As a gift for her first time going to Hogwarts, her mother lets her pick out any pet she wanted. She knew she wanted a cat and found a be beautiful black cat and instantly fell in love with her. Her mother bought the cat for her and the young girl named him Salem as a tribute to the witch and wizards who died there. She, thought it, she also thought it added a spooky flair to her beloved cat. When she got to Hogwarts and she was blown away, it was the most beautiful castle she had ever seen. She was very nervous. She said she didn't care which house she got. Either way, her parents would be proud of her but she still couldn't shake this feeling of anticipation. She walks into the grand hall where the older classmates have already sat down, and the professor sat at the front of the hall where an old hat sat waiting to be put on. Professor McGonagall walks to the front and reads out the names of the first years. E each one she puts the hat on and calls out their house. One by one, names are called, and still the young girl has butterflies in her stomach, till finally her name is called. She walks up and sits down on the stool, and McGonagall puts the hat on her head. The hat speaks in this old but yet smooth voice. My, my, another Sawatsky. Let's see, creative? Oh, yes. But also kindness. Hmm. Of course. Hufflepuff! The hat cries out. The young girl sighs of relief as it's finally over. The section of, Huff of House Hufflepuff erupts in cheer and shouts. She takes her seat among, the, among her soon-to-be lifelong friends and family. Alright, so that's the story. And you can probably tell by now that yes, I am a Hufflepuff. My wand is made out of maple wood with a phoenix feather core. So when I was designing the Sona, even though she's wearing a uniform, I still wanted to show how much I dress reflected in the Sona. Like, I would tuck in my shirt, wear black leggings, and I would very much try to get away with more stylish shoes, like Converse. Those are my favorite. I'm a huge cat lover, so as a pet, I would 100% have a black cat that I would carry around in a backpack. I would be the one where it's like I'm not as sneaky as I think I am and try to hide the fact that I bring a cat to every class. And since I'm the student who doesn't do very much, the other students wouldn't care and the teachers be like, fine, she's a good student, I'll let her keep the cat. And if they ask, I would totally deny it. I'd be like, what cat? I don't know what you're talking about. There's no cat here. I'm a casual fan when it comes to Harry Potter, as I've read some of the books in school and off in my off time, and I've watched the movies when they came out. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like the first movie, The Philosopher's Stone, and I love the world building this universe has. It's so creative, and I love watching a Chess for the Diagon Alley scene alone. I know there's a lot of controversy going on with JK Rowling and stuff, but I always kind of thought she was a little weird, and I still enjoy the world she created, so I'm still going to be a fan of the book, not really her. I wasn't always into Harry Potter growing up, but when my friend, who's a major Harry Potter fan, got me to do the Pottermore test to see which house I would be, and we pretty much knew it was a Hufflepuff from the start, I started to appreciate a little more. I mean, it's not bad. I can see why people enjoy this fandom with the fantasy elements in a world that could easily fit into our reality. You know, I enjoy it for the creativity and the fun imagination it's surrounding it. Well, thank, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my first Sona video. Tell me in the comments if you want to see more of the series or any other series I have. Okay, quick announcement. In honor of Star Wars Day coming up, I wanted to draw your Star Wars Sonas for a video I'm creating. 
head to my Discord. I'll leave a link down in the description and su submit your sonas with a little backstory to enter. Now, I'm judging on the creativity and overall how interesting your sona is, not necessarily the skill or the drawing. Good luck! I'll see you guys later in the next video. See ya, lovelies!